Howdy, so this is going to be a video exclusively for Shopify Incorporated, and we're doing the Canadian version here. So yeah, I've never looked at this chart before, so we're going to do like we always do. We're going to take it on a bigger time frame, and it looks like we only have um, data from late 2015. So we're just going to spread this out a little bit more to get a little bit of an idea how this looks. And uh, yeah, I mean... Quite obviously, a pretty good stock overall. Pretty good uptrend. Um, we can do this a couple different ways. Why don't we just use a? Why don't we just use a standard trend line here. Kind of draw it. Looks like you can see how what it's doing for me. I'm just gonna draw it like that. When we're drawing these trend lines, I mean, there's no like exact way. I mean, do you want to use this or do you want to use the bar where it closed? I mean, more or less, there 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 is some variability with that stuff. Um, everyone's looking at the same information, so everyone might draw it a little bit different or a little bit similar. So, I mean, what's to say that that's not just as relevant? That that line right here, um, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that it wasn't. But you can you get the idea that you're trying to vaguely determine a projection of what where it's going, and if you want the top one, you can do the top one individually, or that's where that's where those parallel channels work sometimes. But sometimes you get um, yeah, it's pretty parallel. <laughs> sometimes it's more of a wedge. Sometimes it's more of an angle. So. There might be some use to drawing the individual trend lines and. Um, well, this one isn't, this one's a two, it's not even touching two points, so when you're drawing trend lines, you usually want them to touch at least two places, so at least right here, okay, it's touching this top point right there. So here, yeah, Shopify, um, I think this is, uh, okay, well, Shopify is a company that is more or less something like Amazon, a little bit. Um, it's where people can buy and sell their own specific products, so... A lot of, a lot of uh, individuals trying to start businesses or people trying to sell a particular product, Shopify can help you achieve that. So I think Amazon's a little bit more centrally based and you can buy and sell things on Amazon for Amazon, but I don't think you're going to be officially an exclusive entity versus Shopify. You could probably create your own domain and your own kind of um, controlling network to help you do these sales to potential customers. So I think uh, I think it definitely had a pretty big um, significance for a time here. I've heard about people using Shopify and being different levels of successful. So, or having different levels of success, that's a better way to say it. Um, so just like everything here, we've had a pretty good drop down, but Wow, I mean, it's already back up. I mean, it doesn't look like this had the pandemic. <laughs> I mean, uh, zooming it up to a weekly 